Welcome, welcome everybody to another episode of the Jason Coleman Show. Happy Sunday to you. We got a really great show lined up for you today. We got Natalie and Avery here. How y'all doing back there? Doing great. <laughs> Avery very affirmatively says we're doing great. We are doing great. Hope you are as well. We've got the first of a little two-part Sunday series in store for you today, celebrating the best of Floyd Kramer's class of albums. So if you were a Floyd Kramer fan, which we happen to be, I guess we're a little bit biased since he was my granddad, you will know that back in the 60s and 70s for, I believe, 10 consecutive years, granddad released these albums called Class of 65, 66, and so on, and where he would play his own arrangements in the piano of what were the biggest hits of that day. And so today, uh, and next Sunday, we're going to be marching through all of these albums, and I'll pick a few of my favorites, of his favorites, from that year and play one or two songs from every one of the albums. So we're starting today back with 1965. And by the way, if you happen to recognize your year uh, here in the midst of these songs that we're playing, if you happen to be the class of 65 or 66 yourself, which I'm sure you're all far too young to have actually you know, been part of these classes back then. But if, if by chance you are, be sure to chime in in the comments and say, hey, that was me, that was my year. And maybe you'll hear these songs from back in the day as well. So we have the original albums here that I wanted to share with you while I'm playing them. In fact, uh, some of them are in better shape than others, but they're all just some family treasure. So here, the class of 65, the first song I played for you, King of the Road from that year. And gonna play another one now from this uh, great album. Uh, this next song was written actually back in the 40s, but it was revived in 1965 by three artists who all had this on the charts at the same time, which is sort of funny. Uh, Bert Camfort, Vic uh, Dana, and of course Wayne Newton for this next song. So from 1965, the class of 65, this is Red Roses for a Blue Lady. <laughs> Thank you. 
Strangers in the Night. Of course, a good Sinatra tune from 1966 and my granddad's Class of 66 album. One of the biggest songs from that year that he played. And by the way, we do have, these are the uh, original albums we've had in our family for a long time. And you'll see some of them actually have these little uh, post-it notes on them, which we have tried not to touch and to leave there because these are notes uh, that my granddad would have made uh, at some point. In fact, you can see here, these were our song titles. Maybe as he was going through some of his old albums, he was trying to figure out what would be good ones to re-record or replay. And what happens to be first on the list here that he wrote is Strangers in the Night. Love Letters, Spanish Flea, these are uh, great songs. But yeah, so cool. If you, you may not have this post-it note on your album at home if you have, happen to have this uh, copy because it's straight from Granddad's hands as he's picking out some good songs. So we'll see along the way if any of the ones that I picked out line up with his selections as well. It's, uh, it's pretty cool to go back and look at whew, all, these, uh, all these great albums. So we'll go from 66 now onward to 1967 and Floyd Kramer's Class of 67 album, which again has a sticky note here with a few selections that he has made. I'm gonna play for you from this uh, album. There we go, stay put, oh no, there you are. We'll play from Class of 67 now, a hit from 67. In fact, this one though, prior to 1967 was released by really a who's who of country artists back in the 50s and 60s like Ray Price, Patti Page, Kitty Wells, Everly Brothers even, but it was actually Engelbert Humperdinck who had the biggest success with this song. You know, that was our backup name for Avery, it was Avery uh, Engelbert Coleman. So we went with Kramer, you know, but Engelbert, that's not a, not a bad name, right Avery? Uh-huh, he didn't, right, he says right. So Engelbert Humperdinck had the biggest success with this song, especially in the UK evidently, where it hit number one and remained on the charts for more than an entire year, 56 weeks it was on the billboard, or on the charts there in the UK uh, as a hit. This is Release Me.
Whoa! How about that little Frankie over there? I don't know if y'all could hear our drummer back here or not. Boy, you were really, he is really itching for a drum set soon. I feel like if we ever do a drum set in this house, life will never be the same, but we'll see, it may happen. So there you go, a little bit of uh, Can't Take My Eyes Off of You. Boy, that's a song right for, from my heart to yours, Natalie. It's a special song for you, isn't it? It's in a lot of movies and everything. It's in some of your favorite movies, I know. So a little bit from our Class of 68 Floyd Kramer album there. And, uh, oh, you gonna come say hi? Hi, little drummer boy. What are you doing over there? Are you playing the drums? He's playing the couch drums and the table drums and everything, weren't you? Was that fun? This is the symbol and this is the drum. Oh, the table is the symbol and the couch is the drum, of course. All right, we got a couple more songs before it's Avery's the turn. Is the symbol. Good job. High five on that one. All right, you wanna go sit with mommy for a couple of more songs and then we'll symbol get you. The symbol with the Okay, good job, bud. The symbol, the symbol, the so there you go from class of 68. Again, here that's listed on Granddad's little post it note of, uh, of songs. And uh, we'll, uh, oh, I meant to mention, I meant to mention earlier, and I should mention it more often too. I know that um, a lot of you are watching this, uh, you know, when the premiere comes on live, but you also can watch these shows anytime after the fact on Facebook, but also this year on YouTube as well. In fact, what's cool about YouTube too is uh, if you have a TV that has like a, it's a smart TV that has YouTube built into it or your cable box or your Apple TV or, or your, you know, fire stick or whatever it is. A lot of times if you have that remote you can talk to, which is pretty cool, you can just say YouTube Jason Coleman and you can watch these shows, not just on your little device, but on your big TV. So that's been a cool new addition this year that whether it's this show or any show from this year or last year, all of our Sunday shows so far are on Facebook and YouTube for you to watch, not just on Sundays, but anytime as well. So hopefully you'll continue to enjoy those for a while to come as we keep bringing them. So marching on through here from class of 68 now to class of 69. Wrapping up the 60s, let's see if I can do this. This is a lot to ooh, manage today. I'm trying not to drop anything. Let's see, whoop. Class of 69, look at that portrait of Floyd Kramer right there from 69. So I'm gonna play two songs from this album for you now. Uh, one of them was released by four guys from the UK that you might have heard of. The, uh, the first one I'll play for you that before that was written by Hal David and Burt Bacharach and it was made most famous by Jackie DeShannon. It's called What the World Needs Now and boy doesn't it ever.
All right, so you know, every week we have our real star of the show who comes to prepare something especially for that week, and usually he's pretty well on theme. But we're reminded sometimes that Mr. Avery is, uh, he's going to be four soon, but he is a three-year-old, and sometimes when you're three years old, you just don't want to learn a new song, and it just doesn't come together. And so, that is a-okay, because Avery today is going to play for you one of his greatest hits, which is never a bad move. So, would you please make welcome the valedictorian of the class. Here he comes, Mr. Avery Kramer Coleman. Hey, big boy, how are you doing? I'm just on what? the orange train. What is that orange train? Have you been playing with that with mommy back there? I'm playing the... Well, you have an orange train. That means, do you have, what, what song should you play for us today about an orange train? Hey, look, there are the trains. <laughs> hey, what song should you play today if you have an orange train? What song can you play? Do you know Are you a song done? about an orange train? What is it? It's called the... Come here. It's called the... Orange... Blossom Special. Orange Blossom Special. You want to do it? Yeah. All right. You got to sit on the left. Come here. Come here. This is one of Avery's favorites, and I think one of your favorites, too. So we're going to give it a whirl here. Avery's choice. So, you ready to go? All right, here, step beside me. You want to count it off? You got to do, one. remember? You got to do your left hand like that. Ready? One, two, one, two, three, four. There we go. There we go. Awesome job, Avery! Woo, 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 woo! Good job, bud. Was that fun? That was fun. It is never a bad call to play the Orange Blossom Special. Say, Mommy, come here! Mommy, come here! Oh, what fun we've had today. Here, let's make room for Mommy right here. How's it going back there, Mommy? It's going great. Boy, we've had a good time with the big drummer boy back here. I know, he likes drumming these songs. I know. He wasn't... It, <laughs> it won't be long, we'll have a... The whole family band, Avery on drums, <laughs> Mommy on her, her, her 60s flute, mm -hmm. and then and Daddy on the piano. We'll have all kinds of fun. So yeah, I remember today we hit our class of 65 through 69, but next Sunday we're going to be finishing with part two. What are you doing, Mr. Wiggleworm? Part two of our class of concert hitting the 70s next year. So we'll see you next Sunday for that. And remember, you can watch this anytime on Facebook, YouTube, or my website at jasoncolemanmusic.com. Uh, and we have all kinds of fun. Uh, it's been a great year, and i got all kinds of fun in store for, the, for uh, what's coming up. Right, bud? Right. Right. <laughs> all right, go back to your snack. Thanks, bud. Thanks, mommy. And I'll leave you with one more song that is uh, the top of the class. This, I guess, was about class of 1960, a song written by my granddad, Floyd Kramer, Last Date.
your favorite piano songs from The Jason Coleman Show are now available on CD. 13 albums and counting, including a brand new tribute to the great Ronnie Millsap. Plus the iconic songs of Elvis Presley. Also the country standards of George Jones and Tammy Wynette. And the feel-good music of John Denver. These new CDs are the latest in my live from the Jason Coleman Show series, joining the timeless music of Glenn Campbell, the smooth sounds of the Carpenters, the smash hits of Roy Orbison, and the Young Years, a concert from my granddad Floyd Kramer's childhood piano. Plus, a gospel piano concert, Hymns from the Heart. Also, Christmas Hymns from the Heart. And don't forget my country gold piano collection, spanning the greatest country hits of the 50s and 60s, the 70s and 80s, and the 90s and 2000s. There goes my head. All 13 of these live from the Jason Coleman Show CDs are on sale now. Get the entire collection in one discounted bundle or check out our mix and match deal. Buy any three and get your fourth CD free. Order online at jasonmusicstore.com or call 833-633-8885 to order over the phone. So if you're a fan of our Sunday shows, now you can enjoy the music anytime on CD live from the Jason Coleman Show. Order yours today. You're listening to The Jason Coleman Show on WSM Radio.